Hello everyone, welcome to the food security series, Vegetable Broth from Scraps. You'll need one large pot, two onions, three celery stalks, three carrots, two bay leaves, a pinch of thyme and parsley, five cloves of garlic, I'm using minced garlic because I don't have any, extra virgin olive oil, and two to three cups of frozen kitchen scraps that you've saved. When you're collecting kitchen scraps, it's helpful to use a produce bag or a bag you have handy to keep in the freezer. So every week when I'm prepping vegetables, all of the skins and peels and ends I keep into this bag and I pop it into the freezer. Um, then after a week or two, I have enough to make some vegetable broth. Time to chop. I'm gonna do a rough chop for my onions, celery, and carrots. You can chop them as finely as you like, but because we're gonna be boiling it down, I'm not gonna be too careful. I'm just gonna put them in together. This is a great job for any produce that you have that might be going bad in your fridge soon, like carrots and celery and onions. Um, you can use them to make the vegetable broth if they're just past that date that you'd want to use them for cooking. I'm gonna keep the ends um, of these carrots here and I'm gonna throw them in with the frozen bits that I'm gonna use when we start boiling. No waste. Time to cook. Put your pot over medium heat and add your olive oil and then add your garlic. You want to let your oil warm up with the garlic over the heat and you'll start to be able to smell that garlic as it begins to cook. I recommend stirring it around because you don't want the garlic to burn, but you want it to infuse the oil. Now time to add the vegetables you chopped. You're going to keep this over medium to high heat and stir it often. Um, we want these vegetables to become soft and the onions will become translucent. They don't have to be really soft, it's just a little bit soft. It'll take about mm, 7 to 10 minutes. As you can see, the vegetables have cooked down and the onions are translucent. They're not completely soft, but they are soft enough that I can pierce them with a fork. So now you wanna turn down your heat a little bit and add eight cups of water. Now you can add your spices, the two bay leaves, the parsley, and the thyme. I'm gonna stir that in a little bit. And now add your two to three cups of frozen kitchen scraps. Now we're going to let it boil. We're going to cover the pot, but not fully. We want to cover it partially so that the steam can escape through the side. And it's going to boil for 45 minutes. 45 minutes is up and I'm ready. So I have a heat proof bowl and I have my mesh strainer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab the pot and I'm going to pour it into the bowl.
It's very hot, so pour gently. Oop. Sometimes that happens. So I'm going to use my spatula to move the vegetables around because I want all of that delicious juice to drain out of them. Once I've mashed it down a little bit, I'll add the rest. And then I'm gonna leave it to sit and strain for about 20 minutes to make sure I get all of that delicious liquid out of the vegetables. Then I'm going to let it cool completely. So now I'm going to take my Sharpie and write the date on my Ziploc bag. I'm going to write vegetable broth and the date so that I know when I made it. For what I have here, I'm gonna put into two baggies and then the little bit that's left over, I'm gonna use for dinner tonight. I recommend that you only freeze two to three cups at a time so that you don't have to thaw out broth, um, too much broth if you only need a little bit at a time. Most recipes only call for about two cups, so that way I'm able to portion it out. Make sure you get all the air out of the bag and make sure it's zipped tightly. And then when you're finished, um, since it's cold, you can add that to the freezer and use it when you're ready. Veggie broth is good in the freezer for about two to three months for optimum flavor. And to defrost it, you just want to put it into a pan over low heat and let it melt. Thank you for joining us for the food security series, Making Vegetable Stock from Scraps. I look forward to seeing you the next time. Ona.